Warning, this game is rated M for Mature. There are sensitive topics, both of a sexual and violent nature, so viewer discretion is advised. Spring has once again come to Inaba. Oh, it's next month. That's the uh, spring equinox. I think there's a better term for spring. Because, like, fall is autumnal. I always forget what um the other one is. Tomorrow is finally the day that you will part with everyone. All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Yeah, and now we're actually at the day that we've been uh, cutting back to with all those different endings. Can I go answer the door? Oh yeah, that's right. Sure, go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. It's kind of a weird line. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. This is your last day that you'll be spending time in this town. You should wander around for a while. Are you going out? Be careful! Okay. First things first is I'm gonna go into the shopping district and save. Oh my gosh, there's so many days. I should have stopped this recording like 40 minutes ago. All the characters are standing around doing stuff. Well, I'm gonna be right back because I still have to... I still have to edit the the dungeon video and like it's five in the afternoon and I need to get that video out. Uh, okay, so we've got something we actually need to do today. Like, um, you might be wondering what exactly it is. Um, fairly simple. Let me just uh, quickly uh, double check something. There we go. Um, so this is technically uh, well, not actually, but technically the final day of, um, of this series. Um, because it's going to be this, and then tomorrow we're going to be heading out to the, uh, train station. But, before that, we have to actually talk to all of our social links. Because we have actually fully ranked up every single person that we could get a social link for, we're going to talk to every single one of them. So I'm with Chie right here. Oh, Hankun. You caught me off guard. Um, I was just thinking of you and you suddenly showed up, so, uh... Tomorrow's the day, huh? I thought a lot about you and I decided to come here. I was thinking, what could I do for you? And I figured crying or feeling sad about you leaving wasn't it. So I made up my mind, I'm gonna show you what you taught me. I bought a book. It's called How to Become a Police Officer. I told you I wanted to become strong so I could protect what matters most to me, right? Well, I want to protect this town. We all worked hard to win this piece, and I want to keep it this way. You can't be certain that no incident like this will ever happen again, right? This is where all of my best friends are, and it's where I met you. So I thought maybe I'd become a cop and have Dejima-san put me through the ringer. She is smiling cheerfully. So, go home proud. We'll, we'll be fine here. Come back anytime. We'll be waiting for you. Full of tight bond with Chie. Uh, you still have to say goodbye to everyone else, right? There are others you formed true bonds with. Oh, hello. You have come. Uh, yes. I was waiting for you. I wanted to see you before you left. 
So parting words aren't what I have for you. Remember? Your heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Do you know what action will shake both of our hearts? Uh... Goodbye, Handshake. Oh. Oh, would that really satisfy you? <laughs> For us residents, I'm sure this is a sin. Now, close your eyes. Okay. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. I am suddenly worried. Hmm. You felt a solid bond between you and Margaret. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. <laughs> Will I ever see you again, I wonder? Well then, farewell. Um... Oh, okay. So they actually want me to... They want me to talk to everyone before, before I do anything else. Oh, senpai. Where are you going? Uh, I came looking for you. Senpai, no. It's like you came to say goodbye. I'm not planning on letting this be the last time we meet. It does make me sad, though. I told you before I was returning to Showbiz starting in the spring. I went to voice training today to to prepare myself for that, you see. I'm re-debuting myself with a new album. And I'm writing all the lyrics myself, and I've got a D in composition, so they aren't exactly masterpieces. But, you know, a lot of stuff's happened while I was on break. With friends, dear friends, everyone was so nice to me. I want to express that to everyone who will listen my deepest feelings in my words. Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared of putting the real me out there, real me out there for people to see. But I can't give in to that fear, right? I'll work hard for all my fans out there. I'm gonna make a huge comeback, so wish me luck. Uh, of course. <laughs> Thank you, senpai. I know that you'll be watching me on the other side of the camera. I always keep thinking of that way as I work. Uh, when I look back on Juness now, I feel all these good memories of us. Maybe I'll offer to appear in a commercial for Juness. Then you'll all remember the times that we had every time you see it. But then, well, I'll feel a bit lonely afterwards, huh? Senpai, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so glad the fog's gone. I mean, it's still foggy over in the other world, but it's a clear blue sky over here. And we can see you off on a happy note. We'll see you later. Issue. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, Sensei. What a coincidence meeting you here. What are you doing? Uh, saying goodbye to people. Goodbye? What are you talking about? Oh, I'm leaving tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow? It's so sudden. I have a baseball game tomorrow. But I want to see you off. She's panicking a little bit. Told you that it's okay if you can't come. Uh, oh, okay. Then, can I tell you something I've always been... I've always wanted to say? I made a friend. He's in the store right now buying ice cream. It's the guy who transferred here that I told you about before, remember? He's a fun guy, he's nice, he spoke up for me when I got suspended for cheating. And thanks to him, I have other friends now. He's teaching me about comics and video games. In return, I help him study sometimes. We actually do homework together. I never thought that fun was something that we could have every day. Instead of, you know, being afraid of running away, I should have just faced it head on. Sensei, thank you very much. Y your tutoring was great. I learned a lot. She smiles like he's the happiest kid in the world. Well, I'm going to have a home run tomorrow and I'll go so far I'll reach your train. Please don't forget about me, even if you're far away. I remember you too. And I'm glad you came to this town. It must have been scary for you, though, with all those murders. 
Those only happened while you were here, huh? That must have been some bad luck. Sensei, th thank, thank you. Okay. Uh, more characters. Where are they? Oh, Marie's here. Are you leaving? Aren't you? Leaving me behind. Stupid fire drift blockhead. I didn't even want you to save me and you did and now you're doing all this. I'm gonna be lonely. Sorry. Don't apologize, I know already. Hey, uh, I went out and got something to eat for myself. Uh, these steak thingies. Skewers they're called. I, I can walk around town even watch your help. A bond between us has connected me to this world. It's kind of lonely, but I'm going to explore this town without you. I'm not scared anymore, and if I don't take steps forward, I won't learn anything. I'm going to find out more and more about this outside world, and next time you'll come, I'll be showing you around. Oh, you're going to say goodbye to everyone else, right? I always like that. See you again. Thank you. Yeah, I figured Kanji and uh, Naoki would be up here. They have no reason to send mail. Oh, Senpai, what are you doing here? Kanji seems to be panicking for some reason. Oh, Alan could. Heard you leaving tomorrow. I know Kanji's been acting all sad and lonely lately. Shut up, you old bat. I told you not to speak to me that way. Anyway, have you told him about the handicraft class? Thank you for being such a role model for my son, Alan Coon. Come visit here anytime, alright? Goodbye now. <sighs> you didn't hear what she said, did you? Handicraft class, huh? Ugh. See, a bunch of customers liked those knitted dolls we sold, and they asked me how to make them. So I'm, I've got to hold classes on how to do it. Laugh it up, why don't you? Senpai? It was my decision, though. If people want to learn, and if I can teach them, well, why not, you know? I'm still kind of embarrassed though, but uh, it kind of feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> eh. It's only because of you that I could face up to who I am, senpai. Thank you very much. Kanji has a refreshing smile on his face. Oh, are you gonna say goodbye to the others later? Well, it ain't like this is the last time we'll see each other. Our friendship ain't just on the surface. Fun out we got the murder case to thank for that. Put an end to that stuff, right? Adachi's in the slammer and the fog is all cleared up. It's all thanks to you, Senpai. Yo, Senpai. When you go, turn don't turn back around, okay? See ya. Oh, Alan saw him. What are you doing here? You'll leave him tomorrow, right? Don't you have more important things to do? Well, she talked to me. You really are a strange person. Oh, just to let you know, I just got back from school. I told them to stop treating me special next year. If I didn't speak up now, who knows how the classes would have been organized. And I was just about to go deliver some goods. I got a scooter license, so I'm actually helping out now. There aren't that many people who come into the store out of pity anymore, so I gotta work really hard. Naoki is smiling cheerfully. Oh, did you know our top selling product? Handcrafted at the toilet. We've. We use sake instead of ethanol, and it's become pretty popular. <laughs> to tell you the truth, it was my idea. I heard some. Girls talking about, it, so I did some research. Well, it 
may not be what a proper liquor store would sell. It's selling. So it's good for business. I feel like I'm back on my own two feet. And I can start moving forward again. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you so much. Aoki is smiling. Alcohol is interesting. Can't drink it, of course, since I'm, you know, underage. I was thinking about studying it once I got to college. I never thought I'd feel this way back then. It seems as if Sis died a long time ago. The killer has been caught, so I just hope nothing like this ever happens again. I really do wish that. Oh, sorry. I'm probably in the middle of talking to everyone, aren't you? Well, I'll see you later. Huh. I wonder how the fox is doing. Maybe you should call out to it at the main shrine building. Hmm. This is the shrine's main building. What will you do? The shrine appears to be prospering as some objects are shimmering with golden sheen. You don't see the fox though. Perhaps it left. Hmm? What's a young man like you doing in an old place like this? This place was bustling with visitors not too long ago, but these days you see less and less. I heard the town was considering tearing the place down because someone stole money from the offertory box. I was with some fox had taken up a home here and they were going to haul it off to some animal shelter. Too many rumors these days. Remember that one about how the fog was making one sick? Or that other one, what was it called? Midnight Radio? It was like popular with kids, alright? My grandson and his friends were all into it. Funny, I remember something like that happening when I was a kid too. I wonder who starts these rumors? So there's a theory. So there is a theory that this old man was a kid during Persona 2. And if the timeline of that might make you a little bit confused with looking at the aesthetic of, of Personas 1 and 2, I kind of do too. But I also feel like it would be really interesting if they shifted the timeline of 1 and 2 to like the late 60s. You know, to like make this 50 years later and like have those exiting high school kids now like in their 70s or like late 60s. It would make it really interesting if they popped back up, you know? But like, I don't know. Like, it would be really neat if this old man somehow was tied into Persona 2, you know? Oh, I almost forgot. I was supposed to pick up some juice for my grandson. You wonder if the fox was taken to an animal shelter, as the old man said. You still have to leave the shrine. I feel a presence watching you. Yeah, mini foxes. It's the fox and its children. The fox family seems to be welcoming you. They look like they're doing all fine. The fox's happiness reminds you of the close bond you share with it. Come to think of it, you haven't said goodbye to Dice Car or Co. You remember how it went with you went to Aya with them? So you visit Aya. Hmm. So Funny story, I always thought that that cutscene went differently. Like when I initially played uh, this game as regular Persona 4. But like I looked into it and I was like, no, that's the same scene. And it's like, huh, this is weird. Your dice game codes voices. Whoa! <laughs> what a coincidence! We were just talking about you. You should chill with us for a while. Well, you see, we started talking about whether or not all that crazy stuff that happened here was really over and we're consoling about each other tomorrow. You gotta blurt stuff out like that. That's embarrassing, man. To be honest though, I did want to see you one last time, but I figured you'd be too busy. 
next thing I know, you walk right in and... It's, it's like, man, I was being thoughtful for nothing. Shared a joyful moment with Ko and Daisuke. Oh yeah, at this rate our team might actually have a shot at the summer tournament? Uh, for real? You were talking about the Nationals, right? If we keep up the pace until then, that is. I saw a huge improvement. Probably thanks to all that harsh training of yours, the first years were all whining about it. Yeah, they just don't take it seriously. But seeing them slack off like that, I now understand why Ko got mad at me. I mean, I can clearly tell when someone's not being serious and it pisses me off a lot. <laughs> See? Trying hard is tough, but I don't know, I, I get more fun out of it than when I used to slack off. Of course it would have been better if Alan was still sticking around. Oh well, nothing you could really do about that, time to suck it up. Alan, I'm gonna go over to your place sometime, so you better come back here and visit us too. <laughs> None of this sad crap, let's be how we normally are and send him off with a smile. So Alan, can't wait to find a cute girl that's available, okay? Oh, I thought you liked sh Nah, shut up, I said, enough said. Speaking of which, uh, what happened to that promise of yours? You're the one who said we were going to go on another group date. Oh, you mean you were serious? Huh. Of course. Then I got one thing to say. Stop wearing the same damn clothes every day. Alan, I think you could give Daisuke a new shirt and some pants as farewell present. Yeah, sure, what? I'm rich. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I've got some more clothes than this, you know. Huh? Yeah, I bet they're all sportswear. Better come visit, Alan. I can't handle the dating scene with Daisuke alone. The three of us will have a big old group date sometime. I'll bring my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like, man, we're trying to find girls and we're gonna go on this group date to do all this. And then I show up with my girlfriend. <laughs> They're like, what the heck, dude? Well, I'm sure you've got more goodbyes to say. And we'll see you tomorrow anyway. Yeah, don't waste your time on us, man. Even if we're separated, we'll always be friends. <sighs> we just gotta say the good part. Come to think of it, what has happened to Sayoko? You should visit her pl the place where you spent time with her. The Inaba Municipal Hospital. Huh, there is some other place we could go on there. I'm gonna guess one of them is uh, the daycare and the other one is Yukiko. Inaba Municipal Hospital. I ever heard two nurses talking. Have you heard about Urehara-san? They seem to be talking about Sayoko. She joined some volunteer organization and went down to Africa. Africa? I never thought she'd be the kind of person to go there. She really seemed to be taking her job really seriously towards the end of her time here. She even studied during break. Do you remember when we were talking about rumors of the Midnight Channel and she wasn't interested at all? Oh, I remember those rumors. Not that I know where they started. But yeah, now that you mention it, Urahara-san was never around when we were chatting about them. She was studying some foreign language, wasn't she? She was trying to learn English and some African languages. She read a lot of medical books, too. Why Africa? Why'd she join a volunteer organization? What's the point? I'd rather marry a guy, raise kids, and be an ordinary housewife. But that's why I used the thing too, but watching Urihara-san kind of make me feel different about it. She did seem to have a boyfriend though. Really young one too. Uh, must have been that kid who was working here part time. I don't know the details, but he seemed to be really mean something to her, you know? She once told me that she was trying to do her best to live up to him. Do her best, huh? I feel like I have to try harder too. Yeah, I'm starting to see where she was coming from. Let's get back to work and do our best. 
It seems that Sayako was working hard in a foreign country. Even though Sayako is gone, her life here has changed people for the better. You have a close bond between Sayako and yourself. You decided to go back in the town. The hell overlooking town. Oh, hey, it's you, mister. Mr. Allen, what a coincidence. <laughs> Yuta and I were just randomly decided to be here today. Is this fate? Harry smiles brightly. Let's play, mister. Hey, don't be so selfish, Yuta. I want to talk to Mr. Allen, too. Um... Let's talk to Harry. Is it a grown-up conversation? Then I'll go play over there. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> He's a little selfish, but he does actually care about the feelings of others. By the way, do you know how the criminal behind those incidents got arrested? I was afraid because everything about that case was so mysterious and that awful fog didn't help either. When I first heard the culprit was arrested, the first thing that came to mind was about Yuta. Yuta is safe now, I felt so relieved. I can now understand what it means by the life of a parent revolves around their child. I just want my child to grow up to be a kind person. That's all I ask of Yuta. Life is not only about yourself. There was always... So I got distracted. I'm like... For some reason I'm like, did I actually like bring the cup of water that I brought upstairs and I look over and I was like, no? Just an empty coaster just sitting right there. I was like, that's a shame. There are always others around. I need to refocus myself. Now. There are always other people around you, so your life will affect their life. So I want you to become the type of person who can empathize with someone else and understand their situation. I believe that being kind to others will satisfy one's own heart. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. You changed my entire life. I never really thought about my life in the past. I thought it would be okay if I could enjoy the moment. I'd just spend the rest of my life killing time. But now I see things differently. Having Yuta with me every day, laughing over small things. I feel alive. <laughs> I'm glad to be a mother. I have to go now. I promised Yuta we'd make spaghetti and meatballs to go tonight. Goodbye, Mr. Allen. I'm glad I met you. The Amagi Inn. Um, I'm gonna just connect all these together in the... Uh, have it be so there isn't an incredibly long like period of waiting between uh between like loading into this area and then loading into that area you know it's like so i'm gonna just probably string all three of these together welcome to hmm oh, alan coon that's right you're leaving tomorrow thank you for coming to see me before you leave i'm very happy <laughs> it means a lot to me i was thinking of spending the day just as Another day. Helping with the housework, taking a long bath, going to sleep. So I can s say goodbye without crying. <laughs> but I failed miserably. I kept thinking about you. On top of that, here you are right in front of me. You're not helping at all. You're so mean. That's it. I'm leaving with you tomorrow. for now. You know, after I decided to stay here and become the manager, I realized how afraid I was. Where I can be all of the responsibilities. Whether I'd be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought of things like that, but I've made my decision and now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I'll do my best to overcome the fear. And she'll be my heart while I do, Alakun. We'll be together even when we're apart. I promise I won't turn away from my problems and fears. I'm gonna go meet every challenge 
head on, no matter how hard it seems. Remember the Yamano Sinkiri said? If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. That's not what I wish for. I'll face myself no matter what happens. Thank you. Thank you, Anakin. I always love you. Oh, well, I should get back to work. I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I'm trying to think of it. What's happened to Hisano? Right. Flip plane. Uh, is there going to be any character at the school or is it going to be closed? Huh. Guess it's open. Oh, there's Naoto. Oh, wait. And here's. Um, I. Oh. Alan, what's wrong? Did you get hit with extra homework, too? Uh, that's not it. I was gonna go see you later. <laughs> really? Well, are you free right now? Oh, why did we go to the roof again? Do you remember this rooftop? Stop me from when I was thinking about jumping off. Thinking back to it, that was pretty dumb. Thank you. I really need to thank you, Alan. You stopped me and you listened. Thank you. I'm glad I was able to tell you that before you left. I felt terrible after you rejected me, but since you'll be going away, I had to find the courage to tell you. I was always remember the time I spent with you fondly. So thank you. I've been thinking about the future lately. Not so much college or jobs or anything like that, but what I want to become is a nicer person. Does that sound like a weird goal? Good for you. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I knew you'd understand. I'm, I'm glad I met you. I don't know what I'd be like if I hadn't. Maybe I'd be totally into that midnight channel on spreading a bunch of rumors too. But I can never see that happen to me now. I must have went pretty, through pretty drastic change. End of conversation. This makes me so nervous just saying all that. I've never done it before. Why don't you go say goodbye to your other friends? I'm sure they're waiting for you. I think I'll head home. Master class is over. No, I'm not going to say goodbye. See you later, Alan. Oh, right. They're going to keep reminding me of Hisano. Um, what other characters are at the school? Uh, I saw Naruto. That would have been funny if Funky Student was here and I could say goodbye to him. Uh, Yosuke is not here. I'm gonna guess it's because he's at, uh, Juness. No character here. Again, it's spring break, so I would assume not many characters are gonna be here. Oh, Senpai, do you have business at the school too? Oh, that's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Saying goodbye to your teachers? <laughs> that's very kind of you. Well then, please excuse me. Oh, having one last look at the school, huh? Can I come with you? <sighs> this town has become so peaceful. Oh. Well, not that I'm disappointed. It's just that... For me to remain here without you or a case to solve? I feel somewhat listless. I know this sounds awkward since we've already discussed it before I came to a satisfactory conclusion. But the reason for me being here has nothing to do with the case. Perhaps it's just your departure that's making me lonely. I apologize. I'm sorry, I'm making trouble for you. No, don't apologize. 
please don't apologize. It's not your fault you're moving home. I'm sure this is hardly the last time I'll face a situation just as this in my life. I would meant here at Inaba Senpai. Of course, from time to time, my services will be required elsewhere. But Inaba is my hometown now. And I want to treasure the precious time I've spent with you solving the case together. Minna Channel, Personas, Amana Sagiri. My duty to stay here and get to the bottom of these mysteries? To be honest, the thought of it makes me a bit lonely. Please don't forget your time here. Well, I'll be at the station tomorrow with the others. So this will be a last chance to talk just the two of us. No, of course I, it won't be. I can go visit you anytime and vice versa. Senpai, don't you have other farewells to say? Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. See you tomorrow. And I'm gonna guess that uh, we don't have to do the same thing with the uh, Nanako and Dojima. But just to be safe, I could check the Dojima resonance. Oh, so I was right. I can talk to them right now. Big bro. Hey. Down. Yeah, How the goodbyes going along? Do you see all your friends? Well, most of them. Soon, did they all cry? Let me see your face. Hmm. She's like a lot more mature now. We've only been together for about a year, but kids grow up so f surprisingly fast. Nanako, do you remember what we promised? Take care of yourself, big bro. Don't get sick. You too. Yep. Don't look so sad, Nanako. We're all family, remember? It doesn't matter if we're apart. We can go see him when I get a vacation. Then we can talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other, right? Hmm. Yeah. Big bro. Will you remember me? Of course. That's a promise. <sighs> Ugh, come on, don't cry. I'm not crying. Oh well. I guess... All kids end up being pushed around by their parents. Same goes for you, Alan. Alan, if it... It wasn't considered all that long ago. All things considered, but I did enjoy your time here with us. I really do think of you as part of my family. I'm surprised my sister's kid would turn out to be such an upstanding young man. <laughs> Give Nanako a call sometimes when you spare a moment. And you're welcome to come visit us anytime you'll leave your room just like it is. This is your second home, you know? Well, I saw a bond between Dojima and Nanako. When I grow up, I want to marry you, big bro. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you're a stud, Alan. Sure, Nanako, if he's available by the time you're an adult. Eh? But that'll be a long time, won't it, Alan? Eh? Alan smiles, he's looking straight into your eyes and doesn't seem to be joking. What? By the way, you said you're goodbye to everyone yet. You still have a lot of time today. You won't go around to Inaba and see everyone who you miss, will you? Besides, I don't think you've really had the whole peaceful small town experience while you were here. Well, I think about it. That case began shortly after you arrived and finally ended a few months ago. Basically, it's all happened while you were here. I guess it's just a quirk of fate. Anyway, you should get going. We'll be home, too. Well, since you're here, you might as well visit Hisano. I get it, game. My. Alan 
Chan. My my, what a coincidence. We really are connected by fate. Shall we talk like old times? Goodness, I am so happy. I just went to visit my husband's grave. Then I came to look at the river just like I did that last time. <laughs> Next thing I know, you're here. There's, there's a surprise. I live with one of my kids and my grandchild now. They're all so kind. I just realized I almost never talked about my kids with you. I probably distanced myself from the rest of my family. I was afraid of what... If I didn't, I was gonna depend on them. They're living their own lives. I didn't want to be a burden on them. So I wanted them to forget about me and treat me as if I was dead. But they welcomed me and now we all live together. They take care of me, but I'm taking care of my grandson. <laughs> so there's a little bit of give and take there. There really is a place in the world where I belong. I just assumed there wasn't one. They're my children, my family, I regret I didn't talk with them before. My husband's death must have been sad for them too, after all, they've lost a father. Are you happy now? Yes. I am very much so. I'm so happy right now just because of that. I feel sad every now and then, but I can't help but think he must have wanted to feel this happiness too. So I've decided that the best thing I can do is live a long, happy life, and I'll make the rest of my life as great as I can be, and then I'll tell my husband about it when I see him again. Then we'll have all of eternity to be together, and I'm not afraid anymore, just a little lonely. I'll also have to tell him everything that happened in town, too. About this whole crazy year, those awful murders, and how the police solved that case. I'll definitely have to tell him all about you, too. I recently realized something. Precious things remain precious, whether they're alive or dead. <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to all my long-winded monologue. A dialogue is between two people. A monologue is yourself. You look like you still have things left to do. You look like you've grown a lot, Anchan. A lot more handsome now, too. Not as handsome as my husband was, though. I'll see you again. Well then, take care of yourself. You still have a lot of life left. Feel a close bond between you and Asano. There are others that you share a close bond with. You just say goodbye to them. Come to think of it, you have yet to say goodbye to Yosuke and Teddy. Huh, they're not here. Yeah, they're probably up at the food court. Yo! Yo, Alan. Since I am super duper happy that you came to see me. Going around saying goodbye, huh? What made you think of the sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? It must seem weird to you. Huh, I wonder why it just began as you arrived here. I remember that first time Sensei and Yosuke braving the TV world alone. Boy, I feel nostalgic. Yeah, ever since then, I was just one surprise after another. Hmm. I can't imagine how it's going to be like living here without you. Quiet, peaceful town with no need of our personas anymore. I could just imagine it. I can't imagine it either. That's right, we were in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. A lot of stuff's happened. Facing my true self, and you and me got into a fight too. Yosuke, did you, did you smack Sensei? Oh, how reckless! Of course, Mon. Best friends gotta fight sometimes and be best friends. 
Why didn't you say so earlier? Since they bring it on, let's fight. Don't hurt him, man. He's just gonna get on that train tomorrow. Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. You two completely changed my life. And Nana-chan and Yuki-chan and the others. They all helped me, they gave life to me. Life? Come on, man. You were the only one who wanted the change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Thank you so much, Sensei. And Yosuke? Love you. Love is kind of strong. I'll take off my outfit if you want. Let's well, not. By the way, it's okay for you to chill here. Don't you have somewhere else to go? Like meeting someone else? Do you want Teddy to come with you? <sighs> no, I think Teddy has the work. Come to think of it, you haven't said goodbye to Yumi yet. You should visit the drama club. Right, there was one other person at the school. Now, also got my high drama club. Yumi is here. Alan, uh, I knew you'd come here. I came here today that turned something in and I felt this wave of nostalgia. We used to be in this club together. You're leaving tomorrow, right? I have something to tell you. I haven't really put my thoughts in order yet, but I want you to hear what I have to say. Because you're the one who changed how I think, Alan. Okay? I'm thinking of joining the student council. I figured I should do something for my school. I want to take part in local politics, too. The town is voting on whether or not to keep the gas masks. I understand why people wouldn't want to see them again, but whatever happens, the fog comes back, you know? Oh, and I started working at Juness. I'm a cashier at the food court. I'd like to try some of the clubs at school, too. To be honest, I'd like to come back to the drama club. I want to see and feel the world I live in. So I'm planning to try as many things as I can, as long as the opportunities are here. I've been thinking about what I'm supposed to do with my life. That is, I want to find out what the significant meaning of my life is. Why my parents created me. Though, if I could find that out, I can't be satisfied with that answer. I have to do something with that knowledge. Do something for people who live on after me. I believe the goal of life is to pass things on to as many people as you can. It's not about inheriting blood or continuing your genetic line, it's more like passing on your memories. And since my father passed down his to me, I have to do the same for the future generations. Maybe I should start by getting a boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, I can't be with you since you're leaving, and in a way you ran away when I asked you in the first place. I doubt I'll ever find someone as good as you though, huh, kid? Hope we can see each other again. Take care of yourself. The fact that I care about you so much won't change no matter how far we've been apart. We won't be alone. Bye. Man, it's always the sun. Uh, it's always the sun social links that is like, man, I gotta get into politics. Um, it's time to go back home and for tomorrow return home. We still have one more person to talk to. So, we have done everything in our power. And, yeah, we've done all. So we have talked to everyone in the entire area. 
that we have a social link for. It. Except the one. And if you look down the list, it's like, okay, it's like, just talk to everyone you've done anything. Except for finishing off hunger. And if you were to just leave, you'd be like, yeah, I talked to everyone. But you have to check the social link thing to remind yourself we haven't finished with Adachi. So what are we going to do? Well, let's meet up at uh, Juness and uh, talk about it. The usual food court. Sorry, I'm eating. So the, there was a little bit of cut there. I, um, I was in the middle of eating. I went, oh, I'm supposed to be talking. I forgot about that. This is where you spent so many afternoons going over the case with that one. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. Huh? What a coincidence! It must be destiny! I was literally here just like two or three minutes ago. Oh, so you guys came here too! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow, but I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> Will you shut up about your steaks? I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. It's called 300 days, GA. It's a very long time. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her, too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. I wonder how it started, then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monster say... It granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability, so that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about Personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? There must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? And now we're gonna talk about my favorite thing in the entire game. I have been holding on to this since the very first episode. 
and I told you to keep this in mind because I was going to talk about this. We never fought our shadow. So, in an upcoming scene, which um, I'm not going to be able to show the actual footage from it because it's from the anime, it actually shows what um, Yu Narakame's shadow would have been. And I'm not sure if they're going to use it in here for like uh, something that's going to happen because clearly we still got one more final boss to do, which means we actually have one mini dungeon to go through as well. So, just from the standpoint of that, like ignoring that, we have a situation where our main character hasn't faced anyone, right? But we did. We faced the man in the fog on like our first day here, you know, because it was our battle tutorial. And it's so funny that like after all this time, some people go, oh yeah, the battle tutorial guy. And it's like, oh my gosh, how could you have not have realized that? It was like so many people forget about that particular fight because, you know, it's teaching you how to actually do combat. You know, it's like you still get a combat tutorial later on from Teddy, but still the combat tutorial during that fight is really important. And you'll, if you remember, we actually got the sword from the Hollow Forest while we were doing that dungeon. So it actually makes a little bit of sense of like why it would be the way it is, but it's so really cool. It's it's really cool that they uh they added that. You're the only exception. You have the power to enter TVs before your persona awakened. The same goes for Adachi and Namatame. Do you remember what Nanako gave you? So, um something this morning as you were about to leave. A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. Well, the sender is listed as Adachi. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started. About that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town. Before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. There appears to still be more. When I'm here, I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before, it's strange. Adachi's well-organized words unfold on a piece of stationary paper. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. But let me just say this. You're a dumbass. You take the path you choose, and I'll think about what that means to me, too. I doubt I'll ever see you again, but stay healthy. Goodbye. The letter ends there. You have received Adachi's letter. You feel a definite bond between you and Adachi. There we go. And now we can actually fuse um, Magatsu Inaba on this save file. Hmm.
Ah, I got the achievement Legend of Innova for completing all the social links. Still, though, the things he wrote, not you. Who did we learn about the Midnight Channel from? Hmm, it's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... <sighs> I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The Midnight Channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? Power to enter the TVs. Where everything about this case started. You learned about the Minute Channel from Chie a few days after coming into this town when she told you about the rumor. But Dachi Namatame heard about the Minute Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, it feels as if something happened to you upon your arrival here as well. There is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Wait, uh, Nato, did you forget that we, uh, that we helped Marie or like, oh wait, yeah, this is still dialogue from Persona 4, of course. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme, could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us, the culprits, and maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Who could have given their initial spark for this power? The one you met immediately after coming into town was... Well, it was Dojima. In any case, you need to see them to confirm the truth. So Dojima still should be on the uh, floodplain. Oh wait. Hey there. Hmm? Did you already meet all your friends? Uh, yeah. I wanted to talk to you though. Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? You asked Dojima about the first day you arrived in town. The day you first came to town? Yeah. Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. A lot's happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, Big Bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. 
the weird attendant? Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? And this is where one of the coolest parts about the entire game is. So I made note of this. And I didn't really put too much attention onto it. But every rainy night, that attendant stands outside the station reminding you about the Midnight Channel. And it is one of the best single hints in this entire game. And it's like, oh yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah. Come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. He really did like touching people's hands, though. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. I looked sick? Mm, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you car sick? You said you were okay, but... That attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? Hmm. Not really. I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Okay, I understand. Okay. The first place you stopped when you came to the town was the gas station. Maybe something there will jog your memory. And if you thought we were going to go right to the uh, attendant, you're wrong, because we have to stop somewhere very specific first. That's right, it's the Midnight Chan- it's, uh, the Velvet Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? I... There is one last thing. Intriguing. So... Is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow. That's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. You've obtained the Orb of Sight. Hey. I remembered something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. I was... The unconscious wish shared by people's minds to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. But 
people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind, with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. Okay, it has begun to rain. Okay, and now that it's raining, the attendant's here. Hi, did you need something? Me, uh... Nothing really. Isn't this where I first... First? What are you talking about? Oh, is this about the part-time job? I'm sorry, we don't have an opening just yet. Do you know Namatame? That serial murder suspect? Well, tragedy, wasn't it? I think... But the case was solved, right? Thank goodness. Have you met those two? Well, that's a weird question to ask. I don't know if I was right here, but I might have met them before. I've been in this town for a long time, so yeah, there's a good chance. But it's not like I knew them personally. If you got nothing else, you mind leaving me alone? Still need something? I asked you to leave me before. D did you miss that? Did you do anything to them? Huh? To those two? Oh, that's right. I remember now. I think I met them when they first came in the town. I greeted them saying, Welcome to Inaba. But that's all. Just that. What about it? So what'd you do to me? what I do to you? I don't, don't you remember? I met you here when you first came, did the same thing as what I did to those two. Greeted you all. That's all, remember? Talk for a couple of minutes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? What are all these questions? Is there something that's bothering you about the time when we first met? Did you give me the power? Hmm, <laughs> amazing, you reached me at last. Okay, let's drop the charade. To be quite honest, I was waiting for you to come. Dachi, Namatame, and then you. It was I who awakened that power within you three. The ones who had potential. But having said that, I'm rather surprised. You really are troublesome. Not only did you defeat the two Sagiri I snuck into Adachi and Namatame, but you even saved that stunted dwarf of a life. Um... Are you talking about Marie? 
<laughs> it's such a foolish thing. What good is saving her life? She is but rubbish. Suitable only for getting rid of that pointless fog. Hmm? <laughs> Don't tell me she was still carrying that around. Oh, oh excuse me. Yeah, the comb. I was talking about that bamboo comb you have on you. Why do you laugh? <laughs> I apologize, but the appropriateness was just so amusing. The comb is a symbol of the separation we went through. You do remember that Kanji's mother mentioned that when you visited Tatsumi Textiles with Marie. It's an old belief that combs have the power to cause separation. How foolish. That comb was a curse. And to think she treasured it all this time. She must have been desperate for something to cling to. <sighs> There's a limit to how irresponsible you can get. So you've messed with me as well? Hmm. And what are you going to do about it? The last battle wasn't enough for you. You certainly have the powers I was expecting. So why did you choose me? For your special potential, of course. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed, I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You felt an extreme dizziness. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. To learn the truth. What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami, Amano Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. You, you defeated, defeated the, the two Sigiri and the one fragment born from me. And now here you stand, face to face with me. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Also, um... Yeah, this is the voice, um, voice actor for, uh, for I guess. I'm like, eh, that voice sounds, uh, odd, but familiar. I wonder where that pops up. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. The one you just encountered was the entity behind everything. Her name is Izanami. You could hear your friend's voices in the distance. Hey, are you alright? Who was that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me! You told your gathered friends what happened between you and the gas station attendant. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor? 
and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Oh, okay. The others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. All right, then once we're... Sorry, I accidentally uh, clicked the, uh, I accidentally like, touched my mouse and it just clicked through. You have finally discovered the true cause of everything that happened. You must defeat this Izanami who waits for you in that other world. If Izanami truly gave birth to the Sagiris, then this, then as long as Izanami is left alone, the town will definitely fall into the fog again someday. And if that were to happen, everyone, all those precious to you, would become mere shadows. This is the most important task you have faced, but you must be taken care of before leaving town. You must ensure complete peace for this town, where you've lived with everyone. Okay, so first things first, we've got to save, and we're going to specifically save outside, right here. So, um, first things first, we're going to actually sell all of the uh, stuff that we haven't... Alright, <laughs> I forgot, we actually didn't get anything from... Uh... Didn't actually get anything from the uh, Hollow Forest. There isn't anything we could really do because Blitz Knife. Uh, the plus three to all stats is pretty good. I think it makes this one better. Uh, Secret Fan. It's better by a few points, but the plus ten the magic is better. Black Targ is pretty cool. Uh, doesn't really go down too much. Sure. Camel red. Uh, get rid of the plus three luck. But it's the highest uh, attack and hit that we have. Uh, claw we have on. Armor? Yeah, we got everything. So, with all of that done, okay, let's go into the Velvet Room. How wonderful! You have created true connections with each and every social link there is. This is not something that just anyone can accomplish. You are indeed the person I imagined you to be. Your world. I wonder what it is like. If it is possible, I would like you to take me there with you. Show it to me. Please accept this. I spent many long hours making it, and this will surely protect you in my stead. The Mandala Robe. Hey. So. Uh. Right. Gonna quickly register them all. There we go. Magatsu Izanagi. Thor. Cert. Hallel. And it is literally just a straight upgrade to, um, to Izanagi. But you'll also notice it's got terrible luck. <laughs> which I find is hilarious. Um, so yeah, let's... Null to both uh, instant kill, which is pretty good. Um, we're gonna do repel physical, uh, cool breeze, uh, what else do we want to do? Arms master, sure. For some reason there isn't uh, anything else. Um, how about we do... Uh, 
Propel Wind, and Null Electric. Who calls to me? One who shines in unimaginable darkness. Will you even draw on your hollow self for your strength? I am Agatsu Izanagi. I will determine the path you take. Gardine. Um. Puts fear. Instantly kills all feared. Um. Yeah, let's go instead of null electric. Mega a uh, megalodon. <laughs> Megita Leon. Megita Leon. Um. Propel wind, I guess. Power charge is useless. Allow cool breeze to change. No. So there's heat riser, and then there's a. Uh... Huh. What way? That's the one that both of them makes. Um. So Izanagi, and then you got Magatsu Izanagi, which is is a Nagi but cooler. Um, Magatsu is a Nagi gets Heat Riser. And I can just quickly check to see what else it gets. Okay, it looks like that after Heat Riser, he gets Forple Blade, which isn't going to be much use to us, to be completely honest. Um, I kind of want to keep Garudine and Mazeodine, to be, uh, <laughs> to be real with you. Um, what would I do with Heat Riser? Probably replace. Uh. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Well, either way. So. What I'm gonna do is actually get rid of Shiva. Believe it or not. I'm gonna get rid of Shiva. Saturnus. Um. Let me, uh, let me just see this. Kinky, huh. Kushina. Um. So I'm gonna get Thor, and I'm gonna get Cert back, and then I'm gonna get rid of Shiva, and then replace Shiva with Hellel. Because I've never really used Shiva's physical attack, because just using Trumpeter at max strength is far better than using a spread physical attack that isn't going to knock people down, you know? Okay, so I got my team back, and I actually did something interesting. Let me just uh, reorganize these a little bit so I can show these off really quickly. So, the thing that I wanted to do with Izanagi was kind of give it its own utility on the team, as I kind of talked about before. So I gave it Tetracon, Makarakarn, and Tetraja. I would have, um, and if I would have actually gotten this guy up all the way, I would have given him, uh, to Fuji, whatever it was called, which, um, I'll, um, the Fury, that was it, that allows you to, um, escape the dungeon, because I wanted him to be, I wanted him to be really utility-based, because I feel like that could be something that he is on the team for. And when I started looking at what Magatsu is and Nagi brought to the table, I did the same thing. We're not going to take Heat Riser, we're not going to take uh, the other move. The reason why is because Megadolian is already one of the best moves in the entire game. But, I went with the idea that he has Atom Smasher and Ghastly Whale, gave him Stagnant Air and Evil Smile on top of his two elemental attacks that he would have done, 
basically just make him a make him a status affliction character. A repel physical arms master, clearly because Adam Smasher. Uh and Cool Breeze. He doesn't have growth, but that's fine. Because I didn't really need him to have growth, and to be completely honest, all I could really do is uh replace a like evil smile with it if I really needed it. But that's the way that it's going to be in my um compendium when I go into New Game Plus. So let me just register those. Okay, so let's actually meet back up with the team. At least let me check to see what exactly we do. Oh, right. Got the um, mandala robe. How is it? Less attack. Evasion. Additional XP. So it's an outfit that is basically an upgrade to the Hakara shirt. No, it's actually a downgrade. What the heck? Why did you give me this? Um. Either way, uh, let's go in. All right. All right. This is finally it. So many things have happened until now, and now we will beat up this Izanami and put an end to this, right? Yes, but since we're all spread out all over town until a moment ago, let's go over what happened. Uh, this is the last measure that we. That must be taken, and we need to make sure that we end this properly. Okay. The Midnight Channel. So the rumors about the Midnight Channel. It may be that this is Nami was the one who originally spread them, and either Ameno, Sagiri, nor the Shadows have taken a single step outside the other world. Simply put, the only one who could have spread the rumor was someone who had come from there. The more it got passed around, the more extra junk got added, like the one of, like one big game of telephone. And that's where all of the you have to watch it alone and the one who appears as her soulmate stuff came from. Since it took place on a TV, we'll never consider the possibility that the images broadcast from the Midnight Channel could vary from viewer to viewer. But whenever we talked about what we saw afterwards, there were never any inconsistencies. What changed according to each person was most likely the image's clarity. Yeah, I can think of a few places where that might have happened. When Saki Senpai appeared, I was the first one who was positive it was her. For Yukiko, it was Chie, and for Kanji, it was Yukiko who said who the person on the TV was. I thought it was because each of it had a strong attachment to the victims, we linked the image, the TV image, to their heads. I bet we actually saw a clearer image on the TV than everyone else. Same person could, pr same could probably be said for Namatame, and that's why he was always a step ahead of us. I thought it was because he knew the area well as a delivery man, but I was stymied by how fast he identified Nanako-chan. Since he was a savior, he must have seen Nanako-chan's image from the very beginning. Alright, but who cares about the details? Alan Senpai's leaving tomorrow, right? We should, should we really be wasting time like this? Yeah, that's right, let's hurry and beat this Izanami. Speaking of which, we thought Amina Sagiri was behind everything, but it turns out that there was something behind it too, and that something was a guy at a gas station. I can't really believe she was disguised as a gas station attendant smack in the middle of town. Does this mean she knew Alan and Dojima-san would stop by there on the first day we came? he came to Anima? I guess it is the best place to greet people from out of town, but... Then, did she come into contact with Adachi and Namatame too? a different place and disguised as someone else? Who is this Izanami? Izanami and, An and Ameno Sagiri. Those names could be familiar to students of ancient Japanese mythology. Huh? You're saying she's a god like 
that's possible. That reminds me. Remember the persona that Adachi summoned? I don't know how to put it, but I thought it was kind of like the persona that Alan first called. Izanagi. Well, Izanagi is also the name of a god in the same legends. Since both of them were awakened with the same push from the same individual, their power may have been similar. A persona is one's heart-given form. The images of gods and mytho mythical beings were created by humans, so if the hu personas resemble them, there may be a connection there since the enemy reigns over the world, calls itself Izanami. Oh yeah, we were taught that Izanagi and Izanami were names originated from the word Izanao, meaning to invite. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about this, but Namatame-san, Detective Adachi, Alan and even us, we were invited to play our parts in this case, and even if there was some deeper meaning behind it all, deeper meaning, I don't really get it. But if she's trying to mess everything up, I can't let that happen. I gotta defeat her. So about that push. By facing our shadows on that side, we awaken to our persona's abilities. However, that did not apply to Alan Senpai. Yeah, even before all this persona stuff, Alan could just stick his hand into the TV. I guess that sort of backs Izanami's claim that she personally awakened his power. Sim holds true for Namatame and Adachi. She selected three outsiders to bestow powers on, and watched what would transpire from there. Well, now we know all of this, but we gotta beat the hell out of Izanami. Let's hurry and get this over with. Alan's going back home tomorrow. Let's go, Sensei! And of course, it's a rainy night, so it's gonna increase the difficulty of all the enemies in the dungeon. Because, of course. I sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced, and it seems like a new area has formed. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, We'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It is kind of sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives, there were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right. All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future! So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Ew. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic it makes my skin crawl. Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this. So this will be the last time I hope you catch the bad guy. Sensei, good luck. Put another save outside. Yep. Hey! Those yellow and black lines. What could you have there? Tracksuit? Oh, Chie, it's a cat suit! Why are you so happy about that? It shows off everything. It's not a cat suit. Hey, Teddy, don't you start blushing. 
and you too. Don't look at me like that. Oh, okay, okay, I see. It's actually based off of um, the Bruce Lee outfit from, uh, uh, what was the name of the movie called? It's the movie that was unfinished, because it was the movie that he was, um, he was making when he died. It's like, um, Tower something. But like, it's, um, it's one of his most famous outfits just because of that. And it's been replicated so many times. So like, yeah, I could completely understand uh, why they would want to include something like this. It's pretty neat. Now would actually be a pretty good time to show this off. So this whole time you could have come here and then go... Uh, info. There we go. And it actually shows a little bit of information about each one of them. One of the ancient gods who existed before Japan began. He created the um, Oyashima from chaos, then gave birth to countless children, and laid the foundation of soil and nature. But they exclude the fact that he created, um, he gave birth to the people of Japan with Izanami. So, like, if we were to go over to Gatsu Izanagi, Izanagi's rival who looks like him, Magatsu means calamity, unlike Izanagi, who fought, who founded the land and brought order, he leads all back into chaos. I don't know, I, I feel that that's kind of neat. But, like, it is actually really interesting how... You know, I was like... I should really do a, like a bonus episode where I go through all of the stuff and talk about like some like cool lore behind like certain mythological beings. But like I am not very versed on like a lot of mythology, especially stuff from like India and like um uh and some stuff um some more obscure stuff from Japan. But like like a lot of the western stuff I definitely know, and especially like Greek and Roman culture, but yeah. Let's search for Izanami. So, you may recognize this ground pattern. This ground pattern and these surroundings is our first area that we went to. Uh, Senpai, I know you can do it. Show me one last time that you're the coolest guy in the world. So I'm recording this a little bit um, after I start going through them. Um, you're not going to see any battles in this. This episode is going to be long enough as it is. You're not going to see any battles until I actually get to the mini bosses. So I'm going to just get to there. Um, I might put in the little like uh, like lines at the start of levels. But this place is massive, and I just want to get through it. Okay. Why is this place? It doesn't feel like any of the other areas. Whenever we go in to rescue someone, I could sense their restless heart and how unstable it felt. But there's none of that in here. Does isn't Ami not have a heart or something? Who is she anyway? All right. I put on your uh, festival stuff. Okay, back to everyone's default outfit. Um, let's go. So, um, it looks like we're gonna have 10 floors again. So, when it comes to the design of the dungeon, I honestly think this is one of the coolest looking areas. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Yeah. Much like um, all the other dungeons, this area has a lot of flavor to it. Oh, I probably should have also uh, mentioned something. Um, because this is literally the final day, uh, we can actually leave the dungeon whenever we want. And we can actually go and sell stuff and buy some stuff. You know, we're max level. And we're not taking them out with one hit. 
it actually does feel like this dungeon is like super ramped up. Of course, I'm gonna grab a uh, magic until we're uh, completely done with filling out magic. Okay, we reached the stairs, and I actually kind of like how the stairs isn't a traditional stairs. It's literally just a gateway. I can't believe you came without cowering in fear. Is that bravery or ignorance? Very well, I'll be waiting for you at the end of Yomatsu Hirosaka. Is that Izanami? Hey, let's not freak out. Come on, senpai. Man, I just kind of realized like how big these floors are going to get. Uh, not a big fan. Um, I love the design of this dungeon though. It's the white and black with a vivid primary color. Well, a vivid, um, uh, I, I want to say pure color because like you can tell this red is like 200. 200 um I was like what is the uh what is the uh color mix like on RGB it on RGB mixes it would be a 200 zero zero you know it's like it's like all the way up on that red coloring you know hmm so you have come to realize the scenery of this corridor you've seen it before haven't you yeah, I already mentioned how I knew it. What you saw in your dream that night was the result of your awakening to the power. Could it be fate that I now await your arrival? Was it Izanami again? Senpai, is it true what you just said? Well, anyway, no matter what kind of enemy we're facing, we have to fight. Right, Senpai? Yeah. Okay, here's the mini boss. power that you have obtained and your determination to face me. Let's see how strong they are. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Oh, that was half of her health in a single hit. This. Just go. So he's immune to instant kill, which makes sense. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Justice is with me. Proving my manhood. There we go. <laughs> Probably just kind of skipped the most of that. So that wasn't enough to break your will. Come then. Through though you may accomplish nothing, but to needlessly prolong your suffering. Okay. So you've made it safely thus far. Despair, emptiness, and hope. Those are the three qualities which I selected those coming from outside. You showed me most grounding of the three. I would expect nothing less, in which I will personally and directly test your power. Three qualities. Did she mean Senpai, Namatame, and Adachi? Is Anami knew those qualities in them? What kind of how does she have? So I'm pretty sure um, anything that I recorded of uh, a little bit before uh, didn't really stick. Uh, so I might as well see it now. So one of my goals in in this is when I get to the Four end, I'm gonna Don't try to up. sell everything that is not currently equipped and get one of each of the cards that are currently in my inventory. Um, and one of the reasons for that is that the only things that carry over are the stuff that are relating to is certain key items and the things that are inside the the velvet. So when you look at like anything that we're going to be carrying over into New Game Plus, the only things are going to be related to the velvet. Room. So we might as well sell everything, but what we are currently using for our persona 
for personas and yeah that's about it was that the last one or did it not save because I had a uh, had a game crash and it rewinded me all the way back here uh no one more okay so we're almost done with uh, magic on trumpeter so yeah let's uh let's just get to the top because we've got we've got one more okay there kanji okay and we got like one more mini boss before we got the actual boss coming up and we should probably get that done i've been putting off recording this uh this episode for a bit because i don't know it's just like it feels like I should just get immediately onto a new project, but it mm, just doesn't feel right. I cannot believe you're still unperturbed, even after stepping so far into my realm. One had not the eyes to see things as they were, and failed to awaken to his power. One chose to avert his eyes from the truth, and allowed evil to taint his awakened power. But this one... He has come this far, yet he still yearns for the truth. He still fights. It sounds like Izanami is surprised by Senpai's power, even though she's the one who awakened it. Could it be that Senpai's power went beyond her expectations? Yeah, probably. Why... why do you oppose me? I did not choose three pawns in jest. It was all to ascertain what mankind wished for. I learned that man gladly favors falsehood over truth. Thus, I sought to fulfill their desires by shrouding the world in fog. True, there's a lot of things we don't see, and yeah, some of them we prefer not to, but that doesn't mean everyone wants to live blindly. Izanami has it all wrong. We've gotta end this. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, I wonder why this floor looks very weird to me. It's like, oh, because it's the exact same, uh, this is as far as I got. I never actually finished beating the boss because of my, uh, oh, computer problems, good. but like... You can win this. Just don't use darkness. I just do this. Um, but yeah, this is the, uh, floor with the, uh, mini boss, so this is going to be fun. Man. Like, I was about to go into this boss fight, and I pick up a chest and I was like, Oh, hey, the Reaper's here. <laughs> now I'm scared. Um, some pass through? Yeah, sure. Who's this idiot? Uh -oh. This is that still one of the dumber things in the game. Just table with floating items. It's supposed to instill dread. Yeah, let me just debilitate it and then just beat it to death. One Darkness. Cause yeah, all we have to do is just basically physically uh, attack. Tenacious. You should be dead in a bit. So persistent. Uh, I couldn't defeat it. And then have you go blow it out of the water again. There we go. Did that do it? Yeah, that worked perfectly, thanks. Who'd want a world be covered in fog? We sure don't. No, Nanako and Dojima-san would agree. I'm not gonna let her do whatever she wants. Yeah. Still that. Still the Reaper there. Somehow the Reaper is in this chest. I'll show it, I guess. How foolish. Even if you learn the truth, people will not find joy. What is best for mankind is to return to the world, to the void of its origin, where they need not shy away from the truth. All that exists shall be a thick fog, and writhing shadows, a tranquility called peace that will last forever. Everything has been wished for and chosen by mankind. I shall abide by their decision. Thick fog and writhing shadows. So it comes down to her screwing up our world? We had no idea what we were about to face, but 
we have to stop whatever it is that Izanami has in mind. It, you see, we say, uh, the, the reason why you couldn't figure out that this was going to come up is that you've never played anything of the uh, SMT series. Uh, every game ends with you dethroning God, okay? You'll resist to the end, won't you? Then I shall fight for the good of mankind with all my strength. You are but a few pitted against the many. The wishes of the many, actually. Your strength is truly astonishing, but you are the exceptions. You will soon reach the place where I am. Now come. Like she just said, I sense a strong reaction from just ahead. This really is the last battle. Keep your guard up. Yeah, so it's probably going to be the next floor. Oh, I guess we're here. Um, so now that we're actually here, we can actually go do the thing I wanted to do. Because personally, it would feel weird if I just went and didn't try to get these guys to max, but we don't have time. <laughs> like, I don't want to, uh, because even if I'm like releasing this video early, I still have a deadline of March 20th to do. And I kind of don't want to do that. But the one thing I will do is that I'm going to sell everything that's not currently equipped. Like, right now I'm currently wearing um, the opera coat on Kanji, which is the... Which was a piece of equipment that I was able to buy because I start because I sold some items from this dungeon. Um, also, some of the weapons are upgraded, like uh, Naoto's From Zero, which basically is crit rate up, which is uh, fairly good. The Uzume robe that was it. It um increases health. Well, being pretty good, but it's not as good as the Uzuha, Uzuha heart armor. Man, that was really hard for me to say for some reason. So yeah, I'm going to go sell some stuff. I might grind a little bit more, but Trumpeter is where I want them to be, you know? Let me just go home. Mm. Oh, it's a good thing I uh, double-checked that before I actually went into this boss. Um, apparently, I had actually turned off my um, my audio recording stuff for the uh, past area, so there was like this uh, blank noise. Um, uh, it's not... Mm. Yeah, the noise just wasn't there. I was trying to think of what the actual term is. Finally here. Are you ready? Yeah, kind of. Congratulations in making it this far. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Root of All Evil. You granted certain individuals the power to enter the TVs. You created the Midnight Channel as well. And lastly, you started a rumor about the Midnight Channel to raise its public awareness. Is this correct? All save one point. This Midnight Channel you speak of, it is indeed a device to draw hearts into this world. But it was always your individual wills that would determine what appeared on it. Humans ache to expose their suppressed sides, while the prying eyes around them are curious to see them lay there. The want to show, and the want to see. I granted a window that catered to both. So, effectively what she's trying to say, um, they might actually explain it a little bit better later, who knows, is that the Midnight Channel exists, period. She just allowed people to enter it. You know? That is all. Everyone wished to know more about the people who became famous through the media. And the Midnight Channel was there to grant their wishes. 
Once the person they wanted to see entered the realm formed by human thought, they would appear even more clearly. I see. So that's how it worked. Are you saying all you did was give that initial spark to Senpai and the others, then watched things unfold? And the rumors spreading, things going wrong. We're to blame for all that's happened? People's curiosity was at fault? Everything was for your sake. To create the world mankind so wanted. Man struggles to understand one another. You can only truly know a finite number of people within your lifetime. But humans disregard this fact, and try to know more people than is possible. Only by comparing yourself to others can you define yourselves. Thus, your ever-present anxiety. Your anxiety causes you to see only what you want to see, and believe only what you wish to believe. As I said, your desire is for a world enshrouded in fog. Don't put words in our mouth. I must agree that the vast majority of people are exactly as you say. But we don't intend to live that way. If we were fine with the world you're making, we never would come this far, damn it. We'll keep searching for truth and figuring out who we are as we go on with our lives. We all will. Together. That's right! No more butting into our business! We will continue to live in our world with everyone else. That's why. You'll see our potential here today. of the truth is not everything. Yet drunk with truth, you exceeded your role and became too involved. Now, learn for yourselves whose wrath you have brought down. The thing I really don't like about this boss design is the fact it is designed to look like her body is coming out of the neck of someone's shirt. So it's like, eh. Also, this boss arena is so great. I always love it. So I've mentioned a few times um, what I would consider to be my favorite type of um, RPG combat. And I've always really enjoyed the concept of having your entire team show up for attacks and I feel um, Persona 5 does that a little bit better with the way you can just hot swap uh, characters in and out and I always feel kind of sad because it's like It always feels kind of sad because I'm just sitting there looking at a uh, at a character being all cool, and then I realize, oh hey, there's like three characters that are not here to like help us attack. And even though it it might break the uh, like the way that it's set up on the side, maybe like have a uh, the three portraits like in like a zigzag stagger state, stagger. You know, it's like, amount. 
I don't know why I was like moving my uh, my mouse to show it off because you couldn't see it, but uh. Turn to scarlet. Yeah, so this fight is really cool and stuff, but we really have to get through this because this is a multi-stage fight. What's the matter? Did you intend to defeat me with such feeble strength? Yeah, so, again, there isn't really too much to talk about when it comes to the individual fight, but it is a, um, a noteworthy thing that, uh, I didn't sell all of my items. I did sell all of the uh, weapons and armor that I wasn't using, but I kept certain items just in case she has like an almighty attack so easily for your foolish pride in stepping into the realm of the gods sorry not almighty but uh like instant kill stuff so like i still have like some of those things just in case i really need them but i basically sold everything else Oh, this probably isn't gonna work. What, what the heck am I doing? Yeah, blocked it. Persona! Left it at one HP, jerk. Um, we're gonna just start guarding. Understand, it is impossible to defeat me. Yeah, we're gonna just start uh having all the characters guard. Because whatever is coming up is, uh, not going to be pretty good. Yeah, there we go. You understand nothing, I see. Ignorant mortals! I 
this rate, it will be impossible to defeat Izanami. You recall what Igor and Margaret told you. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. The orb of sight begins to unmask Izanami's true form. Will determine our future. A god? Huh. Bring it on! We've made it this far. We can't lose now! You cannot defeat me with strength alone. Soon you will understand. Look out! We've never seen anything like her! Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, pretty intense. Okay. Is Nami or no Okami? Uh, so what we're going to need to do is immediately just start draining her of everything. Electricity won't work. Be careful. I like how uh, she's clipping into the, uh, the uh, symbols. It looks like she, right now she drains electricity and that's okay, which I find is really funny. It's like the only thing she's prepared against is a... Uh, is, uh, the... The things that, uh... Izanagi would use. The scent of flowers wafts. Senpai, your defense is down. I'm trying to think of like who I want to do what to. Um, I can't affect the the up because that I can't actually like remove. So the only thing I can do is basically just remove the uh, the debuff on me. I'm also going to remove the debuff on Yukiko as well. Yeah, I, I think we figured that out. The stage is already set for your demise. I'll end your lives here. Dang it, I, uh, I got rid of the, uh, the purification items. Uh, should be fine. Let's just, uh, keep, like, putting as much damage into her as possible. And 
if I really need to, I'll put a Shield of Justice on everyone. I feel like like a really powerful attack Kanji, is coming. Your agility has been lower. Oh, with the pedal. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so all of her stats are still down. Hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Heat Riser... There we go. Main theme coming in through the horns. Pretty good. Kozion! Okay, Mount cool. Okun, your agility is down. I'm gonna Yeah, heat riser me. And we'll just go from there. Okay. Tokun, your agility is down. Yeah, we we already know, dude. <laughs> Had to keep at least one of these. All right, that's attack, not defense. For some reason, I thought that would be. Uh. Yeah, let's throw the debilitate on her. The time has come for us to end this. Okay, so there was a mm, there was a bit of a problem uh, with, with some stuff. Uh, luckily, it wasn't really too bad. I'm going to hazard a guess that this is the next phase of this boss. Yeah, it's below half health, so I'm gonna actually use one of my somas to get everyone up back up to full. SP and HP. Kanji's acting weird. Can someone help him? Yeah, I'm gonna use Shield here. of Justice here. Mm 
I don't like the weird little clicking noise that happens. That happens when that uh when that spell happens, it's kinda weird. Persona! Is this gonna charge us? Yep, okay. Come on now. There we go. <laughs> okay, game. Right, I was just double checking. Uh Yeah, I'm gonna just do Megiddo five. <laughs> Megiddo three actually. It's uh that's the name of the uh, spell, right? Megiddo, then Megiddo 2, then Megiddo 3. That's uh that's the way that, that spell goes. The scent of flowers walks. If I remember correctly, there's actually three phases to this boss. And we're just about to hit that third phase. There we go. Goodbye. Accept the reality of your death. Not you! Yeah, they're gonna just keep doing this because we're Don't at max in. with all Please of our characters. This one. They're gonna attempt to do that. But the thing is, is that she's at zero health, which means we are physically incapable of doing anything other than, than this. I don't think I've ever seen Kanji, like, save someone from instant death. It's unfortunate that our battle must end this way. No, get up! We came so far! Welcome to phase three. Your consciousness is fading. Is this where you will fall before a powerful enemy? You hear someone's voice. What are you doing? Get up. You are not someone allowed to fall here. You must know already. The true nature of bonds. What bonds give to you. Here, listen closely. What's the matter? Isn't it too early to give up? You taught me what a family truly is. I had my hands full just with Nanako when you came rolling in. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do. But then again, I can get back up as many times as I need to with you two with me. However painful it gets, I'll just grip my teeth. I'll get up as many times as I have to for you two. My father can be pretty stupid that way, huh? Don't go, partner. Everything inside me changed after I met you. I'm glad we met. I wouldn't have made it this far if I hadn't done it alongside you. You can't let it end this way, right? You can keep going. Right, partner? I'm such a stubborn, two-faced coward. But you understood me. That's why I can become as strong as I need to be. Hey, can you hear me? Don't close your eyes yet. Oh, that's what Gia was saying. She was saying, don't leave me, okay. I'll give you our strength. You're our last hope. Please, get back up just once more. 
Uh, senpai, how much longer are you gonna just lie there? I mean, like that senpai? Not the kind of guy who can let it drop like this. That ain't the senpai I look up to. Get back up. Just one more time. Let me protect you. Senpai, thanks. I'm glad I came to this town. When I think back on all the fun I had with you, Senpai, please stand up just one more time. I'll be your strength. Senpai, if you stay down, I won't forgive you. You gave me a reason for me to stay just as I am. For someone like you to leave me in the dark halfway like this. Please stand up, just once more. Let's fight this together. Never fear, we're always together. Fox noise. The fox's cry is weak. What's the matter? Are you gonna let it all end here? Come on, you're not alone. Just like me and Co weren't. I won't let you do this alone. You gotta be choking. Don't you care that I won't be able to take another step forward if you disappear? I couldn't stick by someone who'd do that to me. Please don't give up, Senpai. I've had enough with losing the people most precious to me. I don't want to lose you too. You idiot! Always insisting on doing everything yourself! Some things you can only do because you're not alone. It doesn't matter if it's a boyfriend, a friend, or family. You'll always have to part someday. But our bonds mean we never truly have to say farewell. I'm sorry I can't be there to support you in your hour of need. Life. It's filled with so many things that are dirty, grotesque, and painful. There's no way you can stand it alone. But no one is truly alone in this world. You know that, since you've protected those precious to you, right? Come on. The people are waiting for you. Come on, my dear. It's too early yet for you to sleep. I know you must be a little tired, but there are still people waiting for you. Have you really done everything you can for those precious to you? Thanks, mister. To tell the truth, to be brave, to stand up again, to believe, you taught me all those things. You have to believe that you're not alone either, mister. Mister, actually, you're only a high school boy. You must have gone through so much pain. Yeah, it must have been so tough for you. But it's wonderful to be able to protect someone who matters to you. You showed me that joy. Man, you're so cruel. You make me take responsibility for my sins, but you're gonna let this bitch take you down like this? Thanks, Adachi. Thanks. <laughs> That's hilarious. Get up. You're not like me, right? Sensei. I'll protect you, Sensei. You gave me my life. You're important to me. I'm not alone anymore, and neither are you, Sensei. I'm sure together we can do things that no one could do alone. Hey, big bro, are you gonna leave me behind? I'll be a good girl, so don't go. I don't want you to go. Can you hear everyone's voices? The people do not wish for a world enveloped in fog. 
There are times when they'll stop and think they can't go another step. But everyone desperately pushes on. Please, grant everyone's wishes. Bring light to people's hearts. Please get up. Just once more. So this scene is fundamentally better in the anime. <laughs> like, I'm gonna just say this right now. Um, like, let me actually just pause the uh, cutscene for a split second to tell you if you haven't watched the final episode of the original Persona 4 animation, not Golden, Persona 4 animation has this really great scene where once you kind of get sucked in, Yu Narukame is sitting there at home with all of his friends, just relaxing. It's like, hey, you're going to be going tomorrow, but we can at least have fun. And then it shows the calendar day switch, and it stays on the 20th. And it just keeps repeating the same day over and over again as Yu gets more and more exhausted and tired. And then Margaret just beats the heck out of him. With her bo with her optional boss fight, which is the uh, because there's always an optional boss fight with the um, Velvet Room attendants, but you can only do it on New Game Plus. I'm still debating of whether or not to show it, but I will at least show um the fusing of the New Game Plus Persona, which I failed to do when I did Persona Five, but at least I will try to do that. I might actually just tack it on to the end of this episode, actually. Um, either way... Now, I have to actually show the uh, a few more things, so I don't know. Who knows? Um, either way, just all the voices coming in as just Margaret is just, just like, using all the... as many powerful, like, personas as possible, and, like, going into that... It's such a great scene, and I recommend, even if you don't watch the entire anime, to at least watch the final episode of it for context, because it's so good. The hearts of those you formed the deepest bonds with become your strength. Izanagi has transfigured into Izanagi no Okami. And it has gone from being a fool card to a world card, because that is just how this game works, that the final... The final persona will always be a world card. And uh, by the way, that scene ends with um, Yu Narukame coming up against his shadow, which is the TVs from the intro, you know, the pile of TVs. It's so cool of him just basically like this shadow of like, of like not being able to like, of like loneliness and like fear that he will never see his friends again like just coming out of something that is so visually tied to persona 4 as a series it's why i actually recommend out of like any of the animated series because i do not recommend persona 4 golden's anime i do not recommend persona 5's anime i partially don't recommend persona 3's but that's mostly because it's one of the few ways that you can actually digest what the story is. 
but I don't think it actually finished. I think they got like, I think they were supposed to release three movies, um, three OVAs with it, and they did one, partially did two, and I don't think they did the third one. So I'm not entirely sure, but that episode is really great because it starts out with um with Izanami like in her like first form and then like you start fighting her and then she becomes the second form and it's really cool and and I'm gonna go back and like watch it right after this I'm done recording this episode because of how good it is every once in a while I go back and we watch that one episode because of how good it is okay so um myriad troops the word of power that banishes all of the world's curses and falsehoods you know because her um her power is i forget what the name of the ability she was using but like this being an almighty attack that basically is just instant kill on all enemies is pretty good You gotta throw the glasses away because he doesn't need the, uh, doesn't need them to see through the fog, you know? be defeated how am i the one to disappear instead of the endless struggle wouldn't it be easier to wrap oneself in lies and live in blissful ignorance isn't that true peace for humans how many times do we have to tell you the hell with that shit stop assuming you know us <laughs> very well then try and live your way power enough to erase my existence. You have already exceeded what I thought humanity to be capable of. You have lifted the fog in this world, as well as the fog in your own. And whether that will lead to happiness or not, rests upon your shoulders. Children of man. Well done. All right, we did it. Uh, thank goodness. It's really over now. Yep, this time it's all over. It seems this is more like a beginning for us, though. Well, now we've got no regrets for tomorrow. Friends that you can believe in, and many people you have come to understand. A strong heart bound to others, trying to ascertain the truth. A firm belief in grasping the truth with your own hands without being misled or deceived. The power of these things has brought judgment down on what deceived mankind, opening the door to a new tomorrow. Welcome back. Everything's finally over. You really are incredible. I'm no match for you. You just fought the other me that split from my personality. The two Sagiri, the other me, and the me that is speaking with you right now. They were all originally one within me. But there was nothing I could have done without my powers. If not for you, 
I would have disappeared along with the fog when the hollow forest vanished. Thank you so much. You saved everything. I'll be all right. The fragments you defeated have returned to me and will soon become one. My name is Izanami no Mikoto, the fertile will that protects those who live in this land and fulfills their wishes. I will not forget you. Please do not forget. I am always by your side. <laughs> How marvelous. You have driven back a godly being and brought about a new world. This will be the last time we summon you here. Soon, the fog will lift, and our destination will be visible. We will be arriving shortly. This journey was a fruitful one, worthy of marking a turning point in your destiny. Many a time along the way did the fog of lies prevent you from moving forth. Yet in every instance, you overcame the temptation of easy exits and false terminals. In forging bonds with those precious to you, you move closer to the truth, one step at a time. And my heart danced with delight to see you succeed. I am most honored to have borne witness to such a wondrous journey. Our destination is close at hand now. Well then, we have finally come to your journey's true end. Our contract has been fulfilled. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Now, go forth and see with your own eyes. See the world you have won, the bright, magnificent future. to look like this. So this is the world inside people's hearts. The town's fog and the fog from the other world have been cleared. The human heart has the strength to shine through the clouds of lies and uncertainty. You and your friends were able to prove that fact. And that will remain, the, will remain true until the end of time. 